Hello, all my alloys down there. I'm fixing the alloy one here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Into the Depths 2, the Unbiden. Last episode, we made our way back to the school here. We got this cool little stuffed teddy bear called a Totem of Undying. I'm sure by now someone's told me what it does, but uh, being as I record all this stuff at one time, don't be looking at my pants, that's fucking rude. Being as I record all this stuff at one time, I'm not going to know until this goes up. But anyway, we're going to continue our journey through the school here. We got the music room key still. Uh, last time we opened this door, we got fucking attacked by little babies. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, I'm going to have no choice. I got to use my special health potion after I kill this guy. Oh my god, please let me kill him before he kills me. I don't want to take the chance of trying to throw it down and missing and... We're doing it too late. I gotta kill this guy first. Please die. Please die. Oh, thank god. Oh, oh I didn't want to use that unless I had a mob I was gonna kill with it, but we didn't have much of a choice there. Alright, so we can open this door now. There's our uh, gift shop where we were poking fun on until we discovered fucking creepy little Enderman that was there in the nightmare world. We don't want to make fun of his home anymore. He was scary. We got that door there. Nothing exciting in this room. Let's go on to the next. I felt like I got like dragged up into something for a second. I thought I hit a cobweb. I guess it was just a little lag spike. Fuck, I don't know why the shape of that fucking desk and that light scared me, but like my heart stopped, skipped a beat there for a second. That like scared the shit out of me. This map really has me on edge. Which, of course, is the point of the map, but still, fuck me. I've been getting scared. Arts and crafts. Alright, so we got another book in here. <gasps> That's me! That's me! And look, there's Waffle! Some masks made of paper mache and other materials. One of them is sticky. Is this maple syrup? <laughs> Waffle sticky. Look at that's me! Oh my god, oh my god, guys, wait, 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 wait. Where's it? Where wait, what button? Ta da That's me! That's me! Look, 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 it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me! Okay, back on track here. We gotta get back in our scared atmosphere. Bye alloy. Be good. Bye waffle. I don't know who you are, but I like the Mohawk. Oh, that was me. Thanks, Mark Shark. That was touching. Let's read the book. Nya. Nya. Superhero Mass Project Race. Christopher I call mine. I'm fixing Alloy. He looks like a normal guy, but he's made of metal. And Alloy is a smart word for metal, I think. His powers are killing vampires, and he can break rocks and trees with his bare hands and build things like blocks. Oh, and he loves peanuts. That's awesome. Grade 97. Woo, I got there. Billy, my superhero was me. I call myself Billy Boy 1000. I had the 1000 because I'm supposed to be a robot. I don't have any superpowers, but as a robot, I give myself the ability to sing better than anyone. Oh, my weakness is spiders. 94. And Willie, my superhero is the unlikely waffle. He's a waffle, and a waffle being a superhero is very likely. What much more do you need? Grade 96. So wait, look at that. I got the highest grade. I am the smartest of the superheroes, and I'm going to keep this grade book just because my name's in it. That's fucking awesome. Uh, take a second to thank Mark Shark. That's cool. I like it. We're gonna say bye to everybody again. Now I know your name. All right, that was fucking awesome. But let's get back to the scary part. Okay, we've been in this room. We don't need to worry about it no more. Make sure there ain't nobody hiding over here in the corner. So we got two o three. Doesn't look like there's much of anything in here. Alright, let's go check out our guidance counselor. I could definitely use some like counseling. I've said this in a few of hopes, but I definitely would to need some like a guidance counselor after this shit. Alright. Hi, Mrs. Meats. I hope you're doing well. I'm Avil Batil. I teach a kindergarten class, K105, over in the Annex building. I know you're busy, so I'm sending this letter to request that you meet with one of my children. This is a sensitive matter. It's about Hannah, Mr. Kohler's daughter. I need you to keep this between us, and if you must say no, I don't blame you. Hannah's been exhibiting some increasingly concerning behaviors of late, and I'm stuck in a position where there isn't much I can do to help her. 
Not only has she been performing horrendously in my class to the point where she, she would be failing, I think about that. Have you ever heard of a kindergartner flunking a class? But she has been getting into confrontations with other children, one of which is having kind of physical. She's been complaining of headaches and stomach aches. She spends recess all by herself, completely isolated from her usual group of friends, and she gets bouts of what look like panic attacks to me. She'll break out in a cold sweat, gasping for breath, shaking. I'll take her to the infirmary where she eventually calms down, but it's getting to the point where a day doesn't go by without some kind of incident from her. Here's the problem. Abraham has threatened to fire me if I don't keep my mouth shut and pass this girl with flying colors. I always knew he was sleazy, but it's pretty clear Mr. Kolaro has Abraham in his pocket, and he doesn't want to tell Kolaro what's really going on with his daughter or else he may blame the school and pull his funding. Getting to my point, you're the guidance counselor, Miss Madison, a damn good one from what I hear. I'm worried about Hannah, deeply so, and I ask that you take time out of your day and see her. See if you can work your magic, but please, discretion is key here. Neither cunts nor Cole can find out about this. Please, just consider it. Amazing that we got stuck with Abraham Cunts of all people be our boss. He sure lives up to his namesake. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> I miss the days when your brother sat in the office. God rest his soul. Oh my god, that's ah oh, the cunt reference. Oh Ooh, Mark Shark, you got a girlfriend now. You better not let her find out you're using that word. Uh okay, that's the booker keep on so we'll get rid of those books. The girls don't like that word. But whenever I say it it makes my insides tickle. Alright, what do we got going on in here? We got a chest with some arrows. Um, that's it for here. So, Alright, so now it's time to start working on getting to the music room. Uh, that door, like the way you could just like see through it, it's just like ominous looking. Alright, I think the music room's on the second floor. Don't go too fast out of the way. Because you got these guys again. Nope. Dead motherfucker. I like how I popped those off like it was a pistol. I fucked him up. Give me back my arrow. I've been slowly closing all these locker doors behind me. That's the library. Infirmary. Let's go ahead and save our progress. And we're going to go ahead and put our special book away so we don't lose it. That uh, special book. Okay. So this is not where we need to be. So I guess the music room is on the third floor. I'm pretty sure I went past the stairs. Yeah, we went past the stairs. Alright, up over. Yeah. There we go, stairs. Alright, so back up to the third floor. Go this way. Well, how does he keep it lit up over here? What's he doing that keeps this lit up? There's gotta be something on the other side of this glass. It's the only thing I can think of. There it is, the music room. Okay. Seems like we're fairly safe in here. Don't remove instruments unless given permission to. We got the music disc. We're gonna need that for the nightmare world. Did you fucking stop that? I wasn't sure about the idea of bringing Mr. Schuster's music and Mr. Schuster's music in my lesson plan as Mr. Cole requested, but after hearing some of her recordings, I'm thoroughly impressed. Apparently, the track we're covering this week, titled Acceptance, was the last song she had ever recorded. It's both beautiful as well as haunting in retrospect. The title fills me with questions, the implications. I'd like to hear more about this woman. Maybe try harder and track her damn more of her work. She was local. I don't think it's far-fetched to assume her music was sold in town. Alright, let's grab our music disc. Oh man, it's her music disc too. So now we gotta get back to the nightmare world. Nightmare world. I know I've seen a bathroom around here somewhere. I was on the third floor or the second floor. I wanna say it was on the fucking third floor. 
Well, the second floor, I mean. The floor we're not fucking on is what I'm trying to get at, is where the nightmare room's at. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there's ever a time we get to open that. Alright, so let's go back down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Don't want to take any fall damage after I use our special potion. That kind of take away the point of using that special potion. We should be safe running. We've killed everything on this floor. I hope. That was over here. There we go. Let's go to the nightmare world. Alright, now we gotta get to that music room, which is on the third floor. Alright, be smart, Alloy. We know mobs have respawned in other spots. It's a good chance they've respawned here in the Nightmare World, too. Yep. Oh, God, that's a. Look at that fucking zombie. No oh, fuck. Did you die already? Oops. He died. Alright. Here's the music room. Let's play our music desk. Now, where do we go from here? That's the question. Oh shit. Why was I not hitting you? There. Now you're dead. See, there was one of these doors that Mark Shark said wasn't supposed to be open yet. This one, time will show the light. Plant thy seeds so the executioner may bring suffering to those who bring suffering. Is this the seed? Yes. Seed, huh? Could this be what fits in the invitation in the auditorium? Da da. Okay. When Mark Stark said this door wasn't supposed to be open yet, I figured that's where we're supposed to be going. So it's time to get to the auditorium. Oh god. And now, to be honest, I don't remember seeing those there before. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like these sounds. No, we don't need to go that way. We need to find some stairs. Where are the stairs at? It's a very touching melody, I like it, it's pretty good. I'm 99% sure that's not how the music disc originally plays either, so the question is, is that some music Mark Shark found? Or some music Mark Shark wrote. 
because I'm pretty... I know he plays the guitar. I wouldn't be surprised if he played the piano, too. Oh my god, everything's getting really dark and ominous sounding around here. We need to make our way to the other... Oh! oh! I would like to chalk that sound up to the game, but it was not the game. That was definitely fucking me screaming like a little bitch. So, I told you guys, this just got me on edge. Alright, to the auditorium. No. Uh. Ah, oh, had to take a second to scratch. Whoa! Fuck you, creeper. Alright, so here we are at the auditorium. We're planting the seed. You hear a sound behind you. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Whatever it is, it's gotta die. Z, I should've fuck. I knew this is why I wanted to hold on to that potion. We got a fucking boss here. Oh, it looks like Mark Shark figured out how to fix the hit point problem too. <laughs> we got lucky with the first sense of the depths when we got to the boss. The uh, hit points were fucked up, so you could kill her on like one hit. Well, that's obviously not the case here. I'm going through all my arrows right now. All right, motherfucker, it's time to beat you down with a fucking shovel. Beat you with a fucking shovel. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that? How do you like that? Mm, eat my shovel, bitch. Yeah, back into a corner. I'd be cool if I got that sword afterwards, but I know that's not gonna be the case. A crowd gathers as four sinners await punishment. Hypocrites dwell among the innocent, raise them with the knowledge that they will one day meet the same fate until the seed is planted. Justice will not be served. Well, I have planted the seed. This door over here should be path to open when justice has been served. Um. Is there something else to kill? It does not appear that way. definitely killed the monster. There's definitely not another monster. So we'll end the episode there, I guess. It's a good chance. I'm, I, I really got a feeling this might be the end of the demo. So you guys know the routine. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Just like we smacked that motherfucker with our sword. How about that for a fucking monster? That was pretty cool looking. If this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this. And if you're playing the map, let me know in the comments. Don't forget the links down below in the description below. But I'm Unfixing Alloy 1, and I will see you guys next time.